Hey everyone, it's January 17th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share it with Vasily Kulik, a Soviet serial killer known as the Irkutsk Monster, who killed at least 13 victims in the mid-1980s. And that is him right up there, and I'd like to apologize for my terrible Russian pronunciation. Born in Irkutsk in 1956, his family was well respected by the community, with his father being a writer that held a doctorate in biology, and his mother running the local school. He was a gifted athlete as a child, becoming the city boxing champion, and attracted the attention of many girls. But his childhood also had a darker side, with Kulik torturing small animals, which is a common warning sign of future serial killers. He was obsessed with appearing to be strong, even when he suffered an illness that left him with a limp. His sisters later said that he was cruel to them and had very selfish tendencies. When his father died during his teen years, he attempted suicide, but was unsuccessful, and his family thought he was doing better when he began to date many of the girls at his school. He joined the Soviet army when he turned 18, serving for two years, and decided to try and become a doctor. He became fond of married women, having affairs with a few and being rejected by many others, but didn't find fulfillment since they could never really be with him. After taking work as a medic at a local hospital, he ultimately got married to a lawyer and fathered two sons. In 1980, Kulik was robbed and beaten on the street, suffering a head injury in the process. That same year, he wrote a novel centered on a man having a sexual relationship with a nine-year-old girl, which foreshadowed many of his horrendous future activities. He'd use information gained from working at the hospital to find out where families with children lived and subsequently sexually assault them in their homes when they were alone, with most of those crimes going unreported. Four years later, he killed for the first time. He attacked an elderly woman on the street, raping and strangling her, then did the same to an eight-year-old girl. After that, he moved on to a 53-year-old woman who he stabbed to death. Kulik's remaining victims were five more small children as young as two and five additional elderly women, one as old as 75 at the time of the murder. His killing spree lasted two years, in which time he racked up at least 13 murders, but it came to an end on his 30th birthday when he was captured after a failed attempt to claim another victim. When he attacked the woman on the street, she fought him off, and a crowd was able to gather to hold him down until the police arrived. Kulik confessed to his crimes and was sentenced to death in 1988. The sentence was carried out the next year via firing squad. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Vasily Kulik, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.